my signature Parmesan knots. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so the thing you should do to make the garlic knots is make them into a, a roll or you can make them into like, like a knot. So yeah, I will do quicker mode. So like, so like I'll make it like quicker so you can guys see how I make it. So yeah. Okay guys, let's do it. Oh, guys, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next a clip of my Parmesan uh, garlic knots, and it is really hot in there, so yeah. So now, right after that, you get one of these things, and now you like roll it to make it perfect, just like this. And then you like wait until it's straight, and then like, so like... I do this for a little bit more. And then right after that, I get a pizza cutter. So you can use a pizza cutter to cut these out really good. So now I cut this out. So I make four equal things. So one, two, three, four. And then you cut them up into like, you cut them up so you get four rows and three so it's like four length and three minutes so it you should have 12 little squares of these uh bread so. okay guys now we go over here and get the parmesan knots and we put this on 400 fahrenheit so we are going to be using this one so we turn that to no, we don't turn this on. We put this on. And we go and bake. And you put it on 400 and then you wait until the... No, you put these in and then you wait until they're fully well done. And then I will... See you guys the final results and then I will be getting these ingredients I'm going to be using and I have this great garlic sea salt from um, from the fresh market so make sure to get this if you want to make garlic nuts and we also have these parmesan cheese crepes and we have mushed them up so we have some stuff we can put on the top. And we also have butter, we have flour, and we have Parmesan cheese. So yeah, those are the ingredients we are going to be using. And now we put this in. So yeah, bye. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, I'm putting it in, so after I'm done with this, I'll show you guys in the ingredients to put on the bread. So yeah, now I'll show you guys how to do the ingredients, so yeah, bye. Okay guys, so yeah, let's put on this garlic sea salt from the fresh market. So yeah, we did that. Now we take the Parmesan cheese organic crap. Take some of that out. 
and then put that in there. <laughs> and then after that, we put on the special imported olive oil from Greece. And let me think what it's called. Hmm, hmm. Okay guys, so let's put in this La Conico. This is really good olive oil and it's really expensive. So let's put a little, little bit in. And if it's a little bit like too thick, you have to mix it up. Oh. So you do that. And then that's it. So yeah, put this here and now we put on my favorite, the Parmesan crisps. crisps. So yeah, after you put all that stuff, you wait for this to be ready and then you put all this stuff on them and then you enjoy a perfect Parmesan knot. So yeah. Now we wait for this to be ready. Hi guys, today, now I will be doing the surgical inter intervention with these little pieces of garlic so I can cut these off. So make sure to put on gloves so they don't smell like a sinky raccoon. <laughs> put them all together. Okay guys, so now when you're done cutting off all this garlic, you put all this garlic into the ingredient thing. TV break. If you guys want to know what brand I'm using, I'm using this Pizza Buddy brand. It's pizza dough, and it's also used for pizza, calzones, garlic knots, and breadsticks. So if you guys want to use this dough, make sure to. I'll leave a link in the comments if you guys want to use this. And scan this QR code if you want these uh, garlic knots. Go. Okay, you guys, now we take it out of the oven. Make sure not to burn yourself so you don't have to call the fire burner. It's really windy in there. So now you have fresh garlic knots. Just look at that. Look how good that looks. So now we take one of these like a and hot. But we take our ingredient, put it on the back, and now mix it all over here. So I'll hold the bottom. There's one. Instead of doing this, like taking all of these, putting them here, and then putting them in there, I'm going to take all of these and roll them all in here. Oh, oh dang it, I missed. Oh, she missed. Ah! Oh. Toby. Oh, yeah, I'm on a roll. Five in a row. Six. Seven. Eight, one, two. And now, instead of doing that, you just dump all this stuff like this. So 
then you put this in the rinse thing. Rinse this up. And then we put this aside. And then we mix this up like this. And then in my opinion, what I would do is I would get a I would get another bowl. And no, actually, yeah, this is good. Then I get another no, I'm not. I think I should do this. Take one of these while you're mixing this up. Put this right here. Dump these all in here. Put that over here. Keep it like this. And then all that stuff right under there is all in there and now you have some good Parmesan knots. So now let me set up the table and then, uh, <laughs> funny, we don't have a table, see? So then we'll set up the couch and then we'll show you guys the final results. So yeah, bye. Hi guys, if you guys have a small little cup like this and you have some room to put stuff in, my mom is from Bulgaria and they have used this sauce called looting meat sauce. So let's If you guys have some leftovers of the garlic sauce or parmesan sauce, you take this. Oh, you have to use the spoon. I forgot. You have to use the spoon. Take a big chunk of that stuff. Put it in your little cup. Parmesan knots with a side of Bulgarian sauce. So yeah, let's have a taste test. Oh my god, it's so good. Now let me try with some of this. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. So guys. Make sure to try this at home if you love eating bread, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.